Good afternoon, everybody. Just got home from work. Made myself a cup of coffee. Uh, I logged in to see what my run was going like, and after 37 turns, the thing freaking they die for some reason. Mm. Yeah. I've been actually, and I even asked my clan mates this, and maybe you guys can help me out. Which we'll get to the to the reason why you're here with this video here in a second. But uh, um, is it worth keeping five gear anymore on my account? I don't, I don't think so. But topic at hand today is going to be Gizmak the Terrible. Listen. So I got Gizmak a couple of weeks ago, which is kind of insane that I just got one legendary. After the week before that, I got another, I mean, mythical. Not in the week before that, I got a mythical too. Kind of a nutty uh, streak over here with the mythicals, but- Just stop doing it. You're going to drive me crazy. Gizmak is a phenomenal, godly HP burn and detonation, which by the way, I think he's called, hang on, what is it called? Activation. But I like detonate better, the worst. So we're gonna keep keep good with that, okay? So just know when I say detonate, I mean activate. But because it sounds better to just go detonate, everything just blows up. Anyways, I digress. All right. So Mr. Gigma, Gizmak right now is uh, pretty amazing. Let's go through his skills real quick. He's A1. No, forget it. Let's start with his passive. Because as soon as this guy walks into the room, he just go, hey, I'm here. Here, I will burn. <laughs> Pretty much, that's what this guy does. Before the start of this champion turn, places HP burn debuff on all enemies for two turns. My favorite part about this though, a curse once per round, this effect cannot be resisted if this champion has 100% crit rate. That right there is mm, so good. Because we don't need to worry about accuracy and this guy's gonna land his burns no problem also and then the next one is kind of repetitive but pretty much what he's saying that the first time is guaranteed and then the next time it's just going to have a 50 percent chance to land to land so that's all pretty much what that said so once that happened then we have the a1 over here which is freaking great too that increases the duration of any hp uh burns debuff on the target by one turn so it, it is it's kind of a it's kind of a single dual target thing that he does uh but i guess you could say it's a, it's a two hitter really uh but if all the you know the things are in place if the target is not on the hp burn the buff decreases the duration of two random buffs on the enemy which it actually works really great um by one turn instead this effect cannot be resisted if the attack is critical which it will be well unless he goes negative affinity but then attacks all enemies not under hp burn the buff except the initial target so freaking great you know it's man i like it and decreases duration of two random buffs on all enemies by one turn i mean it's just it's good as simple but good all right but here is when it gets freaking amazing okay right here attacks all enemies before attacking increases the duration of all hp burns which is kind of like like uh like theodore and and sulfurian do uh, well, Theo, they're just the detonate, but he replaces the, I think the, um, uh, I, think, I think he does the burns and the poison. Uh, it might be just the poison. I'm, I mean, uh, uh, don't quote me now. But anyways, uh, by one turn, then instantly activates any each burn debuffs on each enemy. This effect cannot be resisted if the champion is 100% crit rate, which is great. No need for accuracy on it. And good God, I've been surprised just how much they use this guy at the arena because of this skill here. When I'm in the arena and i fight you know i always beat the people and i see that they're all on stone skin this right here is amazing because almost i want to say 99 percent of the time he's gonna just strip all that stone skin because of the hp burns they have to be like super high high uh resistance for that for that to be able to happen but man i i still haven't run into a team that i haven't been able to strip uh hp burn from because of this thing because then it just detonates it and it just what stone skin it doesn't matter how many turns the stone skin got it just just depleted gone finally increase the duration of all the buffs on the enemies by one and places a 30 percent decreased speed buff on the enemies for two turns and this other one the a3 is another just great skill because places a 30 percent increased damage buff and a 30 percent crit rate buff and a 30 percent increased speed buff on all enemies for three turns good freaking god that is just amazing okay now the increase rate i don't care because most of the time all of my nukers are already 100 percent crit rate because it's kind of a 
a law for me here <laughs> you know but the increased damage and the increased speed is so amazing because it's just buffing the crap out of all of my champions man and they hit so freaking hard <laughs> after they get this boost right here it's amazing but the great thing is then it grants an extra turn so the way that you want to do this is you want to start with your a3 get that buff on all of your your people detonate the hp burn so you can get all that stone skin off and then if you're using somebody like narcissus just they're done and game over but let's say they don't have stone skin what's the point of having him around well the buff and then his second form oh yeah look this form it, it's been so freaking useful for me. and we'll go to the arena with him here in a second and you'll see what i mean so what i do is that if they have the hp burn i buff everybody but because i'm getting extra turn i transform into the next form over here and then here's what we do we do the a3 pain link oh man this is so freaking useful especially if they have a a udk or or somebody you want to get out of the picture right away like a c or something this is going to help you do it which is great because he not only puts pain link on them he puts unkillable on himself punt and ally protection amazing because then we know we're gonna take the hits right we know we are gonna be have to take the hit because we didn't kill them in our first round but because of it now we are protected that if they hit us not only are we gonna reflect back that damage to that one person that we assign pain link to but because we are ally protected we're gonna help the rest of our um friendlies here survive and because he's taunt if the other target is a single target he'll have to target him he can't target the whole group he'll have to go to him too so he'll take the hit or fray back uh the pain <laughs> to somebody else which is just amazing i really 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 like this skill right here if they don't have stone skin i have him in there i don't detonate what i do is i come to this skill and place pain link on somebody and protect my team then i go to my kaboom here this is hard i surprised this crap hits as hard as he does and i don't even have these guys gear as i wanted to so it's pretty freaking great and because the damage is based on hp and defense i don't have to worry about attack on this guy i can make it really beefy here so he can take hits too now they increase defense though so i want to keep in mind the decreased defense from what i understand this still needs accuracy so you'll need a little accuracy if you want to land this thing if you don't care about landing that's okay placing extra heat on enemies under hp burn which you know he already put hp burn on them from the very get-go so most of the time it's always is a two hitter unless they come back on the turn to uh not quick enough and then they'll they'll strip themselves of their hp burn that's really great and then his passive in here is is freaking great too will ignore 50 percent of the targets defense if this champion's hp or the target's hp is equal to or greater than 50 percent so this is where it's been really surprising to me on the damage because he will hit really freaking hard on those guys because he will ignore 15 percent of, of their uh their defense which is freaking great now the next one is if the champion hp or the target hp is less than 15 percent will ignore 25 percent of target defenses so it's it's one of those things that the less the hp we have you know or the target has the more damage we're going to do because we're going to ignore more more of that um defense from the target which is great i have no masteries on this guy none because i just haven't i've been prioritizing mastery on other characters uh because of my pve progression i needed to, I need to get more gear so i can focus on them so there you go that's why he has no mastery all right now that we're done with all this when it comes to the gear guys i wish i could do better because here is my top speed i wish i had more speed on this guy this usually is one of the most detrimental things that i have on this account which is the speed but i don't want to sacrifice so much the hp either so it's kind of like yeah i'm not really sure what to do about this one i'm thinking that maybe i should sacrifice a little by hp or maybe i should just wait hold until i can get more gear and then keep uh increasing his hp and also his uh his speed on that one so that's right on his next form you know he goes up to ninety-one thousand hp and that buff is so good and his crit goes up also but speed 
we lose a lot of speed so that's what i'm saying speed is something you gotta watch out for with this guy but anyways it's so good i really like this guy he's so fun he's not like meta changing or anything like that but he's a fun champion to run around with all right so there you go and as far as the gear i have him on obviously we want 100 crit rate on him but i have high crit damage because again i want a little extra punch on him uh i i could go straight survival with him which is another very valid way to go about it so but it's up to you depending on your account and what it is that you need that's something you can do so there we go and then i have him on uh, the uh um crit damage uh, set right here too and obviously one of one piece of rattle which what i like about the one piece of rattle is he's always giving extra five percent crit rate it does help so you can get crit damage glove on him and this beat boots because they were good uh, so i'm like why not let's go with that and then accuracy obviously not a six star uh, out there crit damage and then hp here so it's a nice decent setup not as much as i want especially for high gold five uh, gold five arena but it works so let's let's go let's give him a run on the arena real quick all right everybody we have climbed to the arena at the very top of the uh gold five um because we were way too low down there and i just felt like we were just mowing through champions and i just that didn't feel any fun even though we st even at this level though, we still have some low levels in here but anyway i think there's some good ones here that we can showcase uh our guy here i think uh it'll be good so let's uh let's give it a shot okay see what we can do i'm not i don't know promise i'm gonna win every single fight yeah <laughs> mm -mm. i don't think so but we'll try it anyways because what do we gotta lose let's find out see what we can do all right so Oh, we didn't get speed. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Then I can bring here, get their turn meter back. Perfect. All right. So, um, I don't want to mess with that at all. This guy is the one that we're gonna want. I don't want to cheap anybody because looks like um, Narciss can deal with him. All right, we're gonna turn over here, and just in case, I don't think they'll be able to get to me, but just in case, we'll put it on this guy over here so that any damage coming, it goes straight to him but i think they're gonna get knocked out yeah yeah it's over <laughs> narciss just annihilated those guys all right uh this one over here is a little tricky because we got torment but the thing about it though i'm gonna try it because one of the things that does happen here is what i can do depending on their speed here okay so they are faster than me. all right so we'll see okay all right good all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come here back all right, perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just cheap torment, and get him out of the way. Stop messing with that, dude. No fun. Um, We can't do much than just help out Narciss by just detonating the HP burns that are out. There you go. So then he can come in and wrap it up. All right, so now it's just torment left. Not a big deal. You can definitely deal with him. Even if he freezes us, it's perfectly fine. We got uh we, we can work with this so we're gonna go over here i'm gonna change i want to hit him a little hard so we're gonna oh i forgot about wukong the freaking jerk is here okay um i'm sure he's gonna go down with this i hope yeah he is yeah all right cool now we're gonna put the pain on him because if wukong comes back whatever he hits up with is going to take care of him too okay oh but you know what go to sleep there you go all right next let's keep going <laughs> this team is uh it's pretty fun <laughs> let's go we just want to deal with him let him let, leave him alone until we deal with torment there you go he's done excellent now let's deal with that get that wukong out of the way over here and bye bye there you go next all right so that's there's still a little bit of a okay this one ah no man what's going on why is Usually when I'm at this level of the arena, these things are just crazy. All right, let's find some higher ones. Try this team over here. See how I, I, I gotta believe that's gonna have a lot of stone skin over here. So let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the perfect scenario where he works absolutely best. So we, when we Crixia this time, instead of uh, uh, Armless here, because then we're just going to lock them out right there. And now we're going to use our guy here to remove the stone skin from this too. Bye bye stone skin. And then we're going to do a big hit on them. All right. Okay. 
Harima is going to come after us next. So there you go. I knew it. That's okay. We're still in it to win it. There we go. So let's reset ourselves here. There we go. Okay. Speed us here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform here. And we want to put all that damage to her. Because we don't want her to revive anybody after we kill him. He's... She might go out with this hit because of all the boss, but we'll see. That's it right there. So that's how we deal with that. That was that's that's one of the occasions where again getting rid of that stone skin as fast as possible is absolutely crucial. And then we're good to go. Sweet. There you go. Wow, it took this far to actually find team a team like that. <laughs> So this is where Armand's is actually the best situation here, because what we want to do is we want to get rid of him out of the way. So if you made the fusion, I really hope you did. And if you did, congratulations. Freaking Armand's is just so good. All right. So we are a little faster. Now, if I do this speed, what's going to happen is some one of my guys is going to get frozen. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to be using it for the aura here. I don't think I can turn meter here, but I'm going to try anyways. Oh, I did. All right, sweet. That worked out. Now we do this. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to do this here. Now that those two are out of the way. And we're going to let him do the hit. Oh, I couldn't detonate. I got frozen. But there you go. Uh, let's do it again. It's all right. It's all right. There we go. And we want... Her. Which we're taking down the UDK with it. But again, those ticks on that HP burn help so much, though. Even if it is just a few, to get that stone skin out of the way as fast as possible. Now we're going to get him out of the picture. There you go. That's okay. You all be cheaps right here. Don't worry. That is not a big deal. All right. So what we want to do is we want to put the pain link on, uh, I think, Siki. I'm going to put it on Siki there. There you go. Your heart. There you go. He's out of the way. And we just got these two. They're going to pick him up. Probably. But that's okay. Let's see if we can turn meter back again. Nope. It's fine. Let him come back. He's still out of the picture, which is the, the best case scenario here. Got arms is back. Put him to sleep. That's not a problem. All right. And uh, let's continue chipping away at the Duchess. All right. Get here. Arm is back not a big deal again i mean put me to sleep all you want you, you you can't really kill me here so that's all right we're about to come back with a narcissist big narcissist hit over here all right so see what we can do here and that helps nice damn it <laughs> you became a sheep again <laughs> it's a cheap fest that's all right all right, dodge is out of the way. See if he is down. And yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be it. Wrap it up. There you go, right there. So again, it's just fun with Gizmak. I have a ton of fun just trying different things. No, this is probably not the most effective way. I probably not, but you can see the situations where he comes useful. You know, if you're trying to beat a team that's just you know a little difficult to do. So I mean, this this team almost is almost double my um my power here all right let's do this one over here we might be able to outspeed them we'll see all right so far so good there we go i love the fact that we can still turn meter back even though she's veil that's pretty freaking awesome so the safest route here is to put helicot out of the picture by cheaping him or even or even Torah. so the thing about this is that when we cheapen though he's gonna come back with only 50 percent health so, but there is the danger that he can, he's super fast and he can come back around and uh, mess with it. But for now, uh, yeah, let's do Toros. There you go. So now let's do this over here and let's do, um, yeah, we'll, we'll detonate to lure a little bit of the health here. Hopefully Narcissus can wrap it up. There you go. All right. You just got to get her out of the way. Right here, just in case Taras decides to hit us, he'll kill himself if he does that. So, 
If he comes and, and gives us a hit, okay, you know what? I want to see it. I want to see the hit. Let's, let's let him let's let him take a turn. Boom! Oh, shoot! Oh, man. <laughs> we took that hit. <laughs> oh, my God. Hit us again, bro. Hit us again. Oh, he might kill him. Ah, crap. Okay. <laughs> We took that hit, man. No problem. Now, it could be that Taras wasn't as strong, but right, let's see what we can do with this team here. There we go. Obviously, UDK. Man, I don't have UDK. You know that? Kind of crazy. Oh, we still with uh, Crixit? Oh, that's fine. Let's just reset their skills. Get rid of the stone skin from my guy here. Bye bye. And there you go. Uh, UDK is going to be coming back here soon. Other well, place you can put there is uh, Lydia. Lydia helps make sure that he, you know, we get an extra turn without him annoying us. So that's always good. Let's reset Crixia. There he comes. Back again. Speed boost. All right. So buff up one more time. And then um, let's just do this. Arsis, can you do it? Oh, so close. I have to do another turn coming back around. All right, per meter. Ooh, maybe, maybe we can wrap this up. Oh, look, I have back. It's okay. God, boom. Pain link. In case he hit us, he will go right back on him. I don't think he might. No, he won't get the chance. There we go. All right. Well, there you go, guys. There is a few showcase scenarios on how I use Gizmac in Arena, which is absolutely fun. I have a lot of fun with this guy. Oh my God! Three? Oh, oh man! Here we go. Let's let's do this before before we leave over here. There we go. This is this is this is beautiful. We got three sets of stone skin here. Okay. And. Bye bye stone skin. <laughs> Damn, see this drum saying, man, it's so far. If you have a Sulfurion, you can do the same thing too. What I like about this guy, he also does the hit right after. It's really fun to do that. Very good. Let's do this over here. All right, let's get a quick here to reset us and get rid of these things over here. Okay, let's buff up one more time. I have a feeling if he, if he doesn't click this, he's going to hit us like a freaking truck over here. So... Instead of detonating, I am going to put Pain Link on Sifi. Oof. Oof. That's rough. We got cheap. That's okay. Oh, mate. We came back around. No. This is this is uh this is not bad. We just gotta make sure that she doesn't take a turn over here. Alright, let's see. Oh, she's gonna take a turn. She might pull him back up. Oh, come on! Permeter. Nope. Oh, she doesn't have a turn yet. Oh, it sucks for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two birds with one stone. There you go, guys. All right, that's it, guys. I will leave you with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this, guys. I know, and I want to tell you guys, I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Look, I know that I, I'm very new of doing uh, showcases of champions to Raid Shadow Legends. If something that I missed that you guys would like me to dive into more when I showcase these champions, please let me know. I would appreciate it, guys. As uh, as you know, I'm new and I'm, I'm learning through this whole process. We're going to learn together. So thank you so much. Everybody. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And uh, leave me a comment on, on what you think about Gizmac. If, if you haven't, too. Tell me what you think. So everybody, have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.